Hello guys, welcome back to the civil engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. In today's lecture, we are going to differentiate between the normal stress and the shear stress. I will explain this with the help of an example, so it will be more easy to understand. Now, first of all, what is normal stress? It is a type of stress that creates inside the body when the load applied perpendicular to the cross-section of the body. For example, if this is any body or object, here is another, is another object or material. So when I applied the load, for example, this is any tension load applied of any magnitude, but this load applied perpendicular to this object and it makes a 90 degree with this object. And similarly, this load is also applied perpendicularly to the cross section of the object. So then this load will create the stresses inside the body, which will be called as the normal stresses. And there are two types of the normal stresses. One is the compressor stresses. And the other one is the tensile stress. So this one was the tensile stress because the load was acting in a tension direction. It created tensile stresses inside the body. When the load acts in a compressive way, for example, the load is applied perpendicular to this object, but it is in a compression direction. It tries to compress this object, squeeze this material. So what we say that this load is known as a compressive load and the stresses created inside this object will be compressive stresses. And the compressive stresses or tensile stresses represented by sigma and it is equal to the P over A. P is either compressive load or tensile load and A is the area of the cross section. For example, I take the cross section of this one. So it will look like this and it may have any height and may have any width of the beam or column. So if we put this load here in area of the cross section, we will find the normal stresses. But this normal stresses should be kept in mind that it is always created due to the load acting perpendicularly to the surface of the area. Now the second type of stress is the shear stress. If I consider this is in object 1 and this is in object 2 and if I applied the load here P on this object is a tension load for example. So if I draw this object here in a more detailed way so this object will look like this and here this object will look like this. So this is my second object and this is my first object. So under the application of the tensile load, this area which is being shared by the two material, by the two object here, this area has been shared. We can see here if this is in width of B and let's suppose this is the another dimension of the object which they have shared is let's suppose W. So the load which create stresses inside this material is due to the shear load. So now this object will try to go in this direction and this object will try to go in this direction and this area will be sheared. So the stresses create inside this these two objects will be known as the shear stresses because the area has been sheared here. That's why it's known as the shear stresses. It is represented by tau and it is equal to the P over area where P is the same load and tension for example while the area A is the B here is the width of this area of this section which has been shared and W is the another dimension of this area so B into W so in this kind of stresses the area should be not same as the in normal stresses it was quite different there is no such two object includes in this normal stresses while in case of the shear stresses we always have two object connected to each other and they shear upon the loading and this stress these stresses are known as the shear stresses hope you guys understand and don't forget to subscribe our channel for 37 engineering videos thank you for watching our video